And we have support for layouts here in Schedule Reader as well. So for example, I'll go grab another layout. So here's a layout. Now it doesn't look that different, but the colors are different. The co some of the columns are different. You'll notice now that I can see my critical activities in the Gantt chart. The red guys are critical. This layout actually came from P6. It was a layout that I used all the time in P6. And what I was able to do is I was able to export it from P6. Really easy to do. You send it, export it as a PLF file. And then over here in the layouts area, you can actually import layouts. So you can import your P6 layouts, the same layouts that you're used to that uh, become a, a real important way for you to view your projects in P6. You can import them in here as well. So I love that we have that layout uh, ability here in P6. Now I'm gonna show you really quick how fast it is to find the critical path. So as you can see, I got the red activities on my schedule here are the critical path, but in the filtering area, we've got a lot of really nice things. So. The, the guys at Schedule Reader have improved over some of the default filters that we'd have in P6. So if I want my longest path or what I believe is the best definition of critical path, the longest path, I just check that on and I'm just going to zoom this out a little bit to kind of give you the bird's eye view. And there is my project's critical path. So if you're somebody analyzing a subcontractor schedule you can really get down to the nitty gritty very quickly with the tools at your fingertips here.